What is up guys? I hope you guys are all having a great day today. I gotta go take little man over to his friend's house right now. He's gonna go on that snow trip that you saw in a previous video. If you guys haven't seen the video, I'll link it on screen right here in the little suggested card that you guys can check it out and be up to date with what's going on. Um, I also might have to make a pit stop at Subaru and pick up that tax form. If you guys watched a previous video, they still haven't called me back or given information about my taxes. I need that one form just so I can finish my taxes. So. Uh, I'm a little tired right now. We're gonna go get a little man some coffee before he gets uh, on his little road trip and get the gate to get the day started. I would like to play for you the sound of my people. Actually, to be completely honest, in person, it's really not that loud. Like, it sounds loud in videos, but it's not as crazy obnoxious as some of the other cars I've heard. I've some, heard some pretty damn loud Subarus. On a side note, though, I'm loving this OEM knob. I'm going to sell the Lathworks one and hopefully get something that's a little higher, like something that's kind of similar to this that's, like, taller. So, I'm stoked. Just a good view. I'm waiting on little man right now. He's got to be at his friend's house at 8.30. It is currently 7.50. Absolutely gorgeous day outside today. I'm excited. I'm excited to be alive. My man is going to his favorite spot. He goes to an all white school, so he's got to stop at Starbucks. It just makes sense. Alright, just leaving Starbucks. Added another one to Little Man's tab. Just kidding. <laughs> little Man's gonna go kill the slopes today. He's gonna try to front flip Snow Toro. You guys gotta like this video so that he'll be able to hit Snow Toro and hopefully post a Snapchat or Instagram post of it. Something. Alright, so I just dropped Little Man off at his friend's house. He's uh going to that snow trip his cousin's uncle has a or his cousin's uncle oh my god what am i saying his friend's uncle has a sti i was gonna get a snap of it but i was trying to leave because i was like parked in the middle of the street all right so i just got back to my house right now i'm gonna try to call Pony hill subaru so i can try to see if i could talk to the hr manager and get my tax form i really got to do my taxes it's been about a week or two of phone tag I'm getting a little restless. I gotta get this over with, and I'm, if I have to go down there and get my tax form, I'm gonna go down there. And I'm gonna take you guys with me, so let's see how this goes. It's sad to say that I know Plenty of Hills' phone number by heart, but it is a really easy phone number too, so. So I just called Plenty of Hills. They said the HR manager is not there yet. She gets there at nine. Right now it's currently 8.48, so it should be soon. I still need to get my speaker fixed too. If you guys remember in a previous video, my speaker blew out. It's actually this speaker right here on my driver's side. I still haven't gotten that addressed yet. I'm kind of thinking about going in. I don't know if I, if they can handle it as a walk-in though. That's the thing. I mean, usually you have to book an appointment for these kinds of things, but I think that maybe if I go there early, I might be able to just get it done. But I was on the phone with uh, one of the service advisors. He said he's gonna check with his parts department to make sure that they still have my speaker. There is a chance that it might have gotten returned from Subaru. Um, I called and got the speaker ordered in January, he said January 31st, and it's been kind of a long time. I should have went in sooner, but I didn't have time because of my school schedule and my work schedule. So hopefully Brian, the guy who's helping me, calls me back with some good news and I could go down there, get the speaker fixed, get my tax information, kind of do, you know, kill two birds with one stone and then just come back and then, uh, I don't know what else after that, but it would be nice to get both things handled at one time. All right, we are back. It's been a couple hours. I had to do some stuff on the computer. I still haven't had any word from Subaru yet. They said they are going to call me back about my repair, never called me back, and I still haven't gotten the word back from the... HR lady, so I might just have to call or just show up. All right, I just dropped my girlfriend off at work. I don't think she likes being in the vlog, so I don't record her when she's around. But uh, I feel kind of weird today, guys. I have been pretty busy, and I don't know if it's a lack of sleep or I'm just a little stressed out of everything I'm going through, like trying to balance out like school, work, video. Just I guess the future. The future can be kind of scary at times, and feeling a little weird right now. It is a gorgeous day outside though. Look at that. That is definitely a sight to see. 
and keeps me motivated. So I'm actually really irritated that Subaru's not called me back. Um, I don't know, for me personally guys, when you call somebody and you tell them you're gonna do something, I like to keep my word. Like especially because I've been trying to get this tax form literally for weeks now and I've literally told this manager that I need the tax forms. I gotta do my taxes soon, it's already March. Like I need to do it, like the deadline's coming up. And so, I don't know what's so difficult. Like I know that she's busy, but I've literally left countless voicemails. Like we're talking maybe three or four, three or four phone calls. It's, it's getting out of hand. Before I continue uh, this whole rant thing with the whole tax form thing, I'm gonna eat some lunch right now, I'm gonna make myself some food, I'm gonna give Subaru a phone call, and then if it uh, goes well, hopefully we can go down there and pick up the tax form. All right, just got done eating a little bit of lunch. I'm gonna call Pony Hill Subaru right now. I'm hoping that I'm able to get a hold of that manager so I can get my tax form, because this is getting very irritating. I just wanna go down there, get my tax form, do my taxes, done. So I just got off the phone, great news. The lady's gonna have my paperwork ready after two o'clock. It's currently 11.29. I was actually answering some emails and things like that. And so I'll be ready in about two hours. I have no idea the great amount of relief I'm feeling right now. That is such great news. I literally was been stressing this for the past two weeks. Now I have time to actually go pick up the tax form and then hopefully do my taxes sometime next week. And uh, I'll maybe even take you guys with me. So I'm, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. If you're excited, hit the like button for me, please. <laughs> All right, so I just finished typing up an email about some book that I'm reading right now and I was feeling kind of drowsy. Like, I don't know why, like, uh, well, I don't really sleep that much. I'm not gonna lie with you guys. I'm always busy in between schoolwork, housework and whatever. But my friend Snapchats me from Starbucks and it's like come through and I'm like oh man like he, how did he know I was tired <laughs> so I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to use my old cup to like make it like more official so like I'm actually getting like a legit refill because I don't know if you guys know but if you have a gold card of Starbucks you can actually get free refills for iced coffee and certain teas so I'm gonna try to do it officially who knows we'll see what happens what you miss your sister you miss your sister what what these dogs are something else. You guys have no idea. Always fighting over everything. Anyways, we are off to go see my buddy Julie. Uh, hopefully her car's there. It's actually sunny outside, so I can get some good shots of her car too. I, I never realized that uh, the last time we went, it was really dark outside and I got really bad angles of her car, but this time we can get some better ones. I'm in love with this knob. I'm in love with the knob. So while my car is warming up a little bit before I go, I don't want to sound cliche or corny, but I've never said this in a video, but I just want to take a chance to thank you guys, all who watch my videos, everybody who is past or present, who's been with the channel for a long time or is new to the channel. I appreciate all of you guys. This is like our channel, you know, like I take you guys with me. Um, obviously this car can only fit five people, but if you guys are watching, like thousands of people are getting crammed in the STI with me and you guys are all rolling with me. So it's a pretty cool experience. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. All right, so just got to Starbucks. My friend's car's here. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm actually kind of excited. The lighting looks really good. And it looks like she just washed her car. All right, so this is the prelude I was telling you guys about. I'm gonna show you guys. This is female driven. Check out the carbon. It's dope. So every time I come here, I always try to get Julie on the vlog, but all of her coworkers start to freak out and I bust the camera out, so I didn't get her on the vlog, but I got the coffee refill. Thank you, Julie. It's Julie, if you're watching this, I know you didn't help me right now, but you're the majority of the reason why most of the time I get free drinks, so I'm giving you a shout out right now. I'm gonna hit everybody with your Instagram right now, follow Julie to see that uh, prelude build that I just showed you guys, and uh, hit her up. Alrighty, I just got home. Uh, I got some boring adult stuff to do uh, that's work related. So I will see you guys when we're leaving to Pointe Hills, Subaru. <laughs> all right, a few hours later, I just got all my boring adult stuff done. We're gonna go down to the dealership, pick up my tax forms, walk the lot, talk to some old coworkers, show you guys some STIs. I'm kind of curious to see if they have a white one. I haven't seen a white one at a dealership in a really long time. I want to see how I feel about it. 
I thought about even like, I've contemplated on even wrapping mine white. Oh wait, I forgot I didn't park in the driveway. Whoops, I'm a dummy. So saying, contemplated on wrapping the car a color. I don't think I would do white. White would be cool, but I would have to do something more unique than white. White's kind of basic, but let's go see some cars. All right, I just got the Subaru. Obviously, there's a lot of Subarus around. Check it out. Line up, we're in the used car lot right now, parked back here. I don't even think we're supposed to park back here, but I always do every time I come, because parts is literally right there. All right, we got the tax form. I'm not showing you guys my address, but show you the dealership address. Um, just for the sake of time, I saw traffic was really bad. I'm not gonna get out and walk around and show you guys cars. I wish I could, but I'm kind of pressed for time. And there's some stuff that came up that I need to go handle at home, so I'm gonna go home and, uh, you know, get the handle. But if you're in the area, give Plenty Hills a check because they got a lot of cars, especially Subarus. And if you want a Forester, I'm looking at it right there. I know I promised you guys some Subarus, but check out the traffic, guys. You thought I was lying? I wasn't lying. All right, so as you guys know, I'm moving and I use Experian to get a credit report because we need it for the place that we're gonna go rent soon when everybody moves or when we all move. And Experian on the website said you could pay $1 to use their website to get a free inquiry of your FICO score. And it turns out they charged me 25 bucks. I'm so annoyed. I just had to, you know, wait on 40 minutes on hold with them just to not even get help by anybody just to go online and do it myself. But I should have probably just went on the website to begin with and done it, but you live and learn. So unfortunately guys, this is where I'm gonna have to end today's vlog. We did a lot today, went to a super dealership, we got my tax information, they're gonna give me the money that they owe me. Um, we did a lot of stuff and drove around, got to take little man to Snow Toro and um, I don't know, I just wanna take this chance to thank you guys for coming with me. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and driving around and seeing a little bit of what goes into California lifestyle and kind of not so fun things, but let me know what you guys think of uh, you know California lifestyle, if you guys deal with any of this stuff. But I just wanna give a huge shout out to all of you guys for being amazing, for watching the videos. Uh, drop a like down below, drop a comment if you guys are into it, and I will see you guys on the next video.